Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Behind me you see a very nice Everglades 350 LX, and that one is for tomorrow. But today, I'm gonna be detailing the uh, boat that he's getting rid of to prep it for sale. And uh, shouldn't be a huge deal as far as uh, anything different than normal uh, it's kind of dirty on the inside I'll show you that when I get up in there but uh, what I've already done so far is gotten my pressure washer and all that set up because I got to go in there and blow some debris out um, and then what I've also done is I prepped and filled four holes that the owner accidentally put into the side of the hull uh, so I got them all uh, sanded inside cleaned out um, wiped down prepped and then I filled them with an epoxy and I did my best to match the gray gel coat color. Let me show you that right now. So I filled four holes. I still have to sand them, but there's two there. You can see that one and that one. And then there's that one and that one. So I got them filled. Yeah, there's a little extra epoxy there, but I'm gonna sand everything down. So once it's cured in an hour or two, uh, I'm gonna sand everything down. I am gonna uh, basically cut this section off uh, from the rest of the hull so that I can compound and polish the rest of it. Actually, this one's only getting a one-step polish uh, to prep it for sale. So once these are cured, I'm gonna go ahead and sand them down, get them smooth, and it looks like I've matched them pretty good. They're out of the sun right now, but you can see where I've accidentally got a little extra on there. Matches pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with just the match. The color match looks good. So I'm gonna get up in this thing and get all this debris out. Uh, Tony is on her way. She's gonna help me get this thing knocked out today. We are in Bradenton, well, we're in Cortez. Uh, right by Bradenton Beach. So we're going to be staying here tonight to get this uh, other boat done tomorrow. So we can get an early start. So we're staying in, in uh, the Bradenton area tonight. So I'm not going to waste any time. You've seen a dirty boat before. So sit back and relax. And we'll show you how to get to a clean one. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in there with the pressure washer, get it all prepped. Uh, for Tony to get here, get the interior done while I'm out here working on the hull. So here we go. All right, so I tested a few different things out. As you can see, I've got several things laid out, but it's what she looks like. I have polished from this tape line on. You can see where I repaired those holes. Still haven't done anything with those, still letting them cure. So when those are done, I'll sand them and then polish this whole section. But um kind of put the tape there so that i wouldn't go into those spots without seeing it it's a decent match <clears throat> not perfect but at least it's not white that's for sure anyway so from here up i have polished to this line you can see here uh, it is not perfect this is a basically a prep for sale detail I call the, this is package number three at detailjuice.com. If you go to detailjuice.com, hit the services tab. Um, we're doing package three in the marine detailing packages. And that's basically prep, or sa prep for sale or prep for keep. So if you're just trying to do a really thorough job on the boat, uh, whether you're trying to get rid of it or if you want to keep it, uh, this is the package that you need. Uh, this does come with some basic protection um, around three to four months. No ceramic coating, no high-end polymer solution like Bionic Banana Shield. Um, this one I generally will use uh, Solitaire, which is my marine compound or my marine all-in-one. However, I'm not doing that on this one because I need a little bit more bite than Solitaire offers. So I'm doing a real compounding step and then I'm gonna walk, walk around it with um, Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 with triple trifecta technology, which is basically a spray coating. It can be used on boats, RVs, motorcycles, cars, 
doesn't matter all of that so it's kind of basic protection but we're really just trying to move this thing and uh, make it look amazing and that's what we're doing so that's what the hole is going to end up looking like when I'm all done that's what I'm going with it definitely needs to be sanded however I don't know that he'd get the money back for do you know from doing all that we'll let the next owner deal with that so I'm gonna keep compounding because it's looking pretty good again not as clear as I'd like uh, mainly just because it's got some oxidation that just compounding isn't gonna get off it needs to be sanded with around a thousand grit and then compounded and polished out but again it's not what this detail is for but it does make it look enough better to uh, pass so that's where we're at I'm gonna get back to work okay so I haven't done much filming just because we're trying to get this thing knocked out it's thundering right now and I'm worried we might get stuck in the rain but you notice this side looks amazing so what happened was I had to call the owner and we had to talk about uh, another option I was compounding I was using the heavy-duty gel coat oxidation eater compounding polish that stuff does a great job at removing 800 grit sanding scratches with ease I mean it will do it'll remove 500 grit uh, with a couple of passes but with ease it does 800 so I sanded with a thousand grit uh, after calling the owner we d I decided well, the reason I called the owner is because I decided that was the best order of business. Uh, you may or may not be able to see this massive repair that was done in this whole area right from here all the way over. It was a repair and then there's another repair line there and it goes all the way over to there. So that whole section there has been repaired and you can't really see it now you could see a lot worse before um, the whole point of calling the owner was to let them know we needed to step it up to get the results we were looking for um, it's had a bunch of repairs but they're good repairs they just repairs never match properly and uh, so with that said I basically sold him a sanding step which I sanded the whole boat down with a thousand grit um, this is an old pad i am no longer using these merca abrolon pads just because they're well they work okay they're a synthetic deal it looks like it's not an actual abrasive it's just a material that has the abrasive on it it also has the foam interface uh, built in they're really nice and they work well um, but i wanted something a little bit more custom and something that actually was a little bit more to my style of detailing and I actually have something I'm actually working with an abrasives company to uh, produce my own um, sandpaper if you if you will so I have my own uh, sandpapers I'm gonna be uh, offering soon they're actually marine specific uh, we've been developing them based on how they are on gel coat sorry uh listening to this thunder the sky is all nasty over there it's beautiful over here though so anyway we are working with these i'm working with this abrasive company that's going to make me uh, sanding discs um that are designed specifically for gel coat and um these single stage heavy duty paints like Emron, All Grip, and that kind of thing, but um, marine specific, not a very generic kind of thing, uh, which is what I feel like that Merca is, is about. They work okay, uh, but these pads, I've actually, I'm already on the uh, third revision and they are working very well. Um, I have to burn up a ton of uh, Merca pads that I have, but I, I will have my own. And I will have a professional boat detailer line that I've been working on. It's a seven product lineup with the, pa the 
the dual sided pads from Buff and Shine and the sandpaper, you'd be able to get a boat looking amazing. Anyway, there'll be more on that when I have more to tell, but you can tell that I've done this section here and the rest of this side of the hull is sanded with a thousand grit. You can see the definitive line there where there's no gloss. And then the other side where there is gloss. And I've done this whole side already of compounded. I'm actually using the, the new Pro compound, Pro boat compound uh, from the new lineup now. Um, that's what I do. I still actively pursue detailing, not because I have to, because I love to, and I can test my products in the real world and I can provide you guys the best of the best when it comes to restoring your own stuff whether it be an auto boat, RV, motorcycle, doesn't matter, uh, through detailjuice.com. So that's where we're at. This is what I'm working on now. I'm going to stop yapping and get back to work, so hopefully we can get this boat done today so that tomorrow we can start on this beast. So we'll talk to you shortly. All right, she's all done. See the sky over there? Thank goodness we're done now. It's about to rain. So the process on this was I started to try to compound it with uh, gel coat oxidation eater and it did a great job. The only problem was it needed more than that. It, the oxidation was pretty heavy duty. So like I mentioned earlier, I called the owner, we talked and we both agreed that sanding this thing was the, the best possible idea. And as you can see, it turned out great. This boat definitely has a few repairs on it, which aren't, aren't a big deal. Um, they just unfortunately can be seen after the detail, but that's fine. Uh, he's pulled the decals off already. I didn't have to do anything with that. But if you remember how oxidized this back area was, you could see where it said Everglades on the back. You can't now. Um, I did a decent job of matching the uh, gray fills where I filled in the holes. So those are done and look nice. The interior, man, Tony knocked it out of the park on this interior as she generally does. It looks great. Um, I polished the transom. I got all underneath there. Got everything clean around the jack plate. The step ladder, swim deck thing is all polished and looking nice. Man, look at that rail. It looks great. Super glossy, looking nice. I'm ready for the big boy tomorrow. Clean the motor up. The cowl has some oxidation on it, and it is a textured, not smooth finish anyway. So what I did was I went ahead and just cleaned up the, uh, the body of the motor uh, and just wiped down the cowl. So T-top's good to go. Interior's looking great hole looks awesome. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I also cleaned up the mats here. So, super nice. Alright guys, this ends day one. Uh, we're going to be back here tomorrow working on this uh, Everglades 350 uh, LX behind me. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble. Man, look at that sky behind me, guys. Look how nasty that is. Can you see that? It's just horrible. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. We're going to get some dinner. We've been working here for, I don't know, I think we put in 12 man hours on this boat today. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you taking the time, like I mentioned already. And um, if you need something detailed, 813-846-4406 or... If I can help you with your detail uh, over the phone, I'd be more than happy to help you with that, uh, whatever your detailing endeavor may, might be. Uh, but check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. That is it. So if you want to learn about detailing, if I can help you with your product consideration, check out detailjuice.com. Uh, let me know how I can earn your business because that's what I want to do. Thank you guys for watching. 
and call me when you need a boat detailed, a car detailed, motorcycle, RV, whatever, it doesn't matter. And we'll be back for day two of this job tomorrow on that big beast over there. Have a great day, guys.